Hello Lego Deal Treasure Hunters, tis I, Studlord here, with the top picks for Deals of the Week in the UK, USA, EU and Canada. Timestamps below, but we will kick things off today with the UK. Now let's start by taking a very quick look at Argos. There is nothing particular that I want to call out, but it was just to let you know they have added some more sets to their whole 2 for 20, uh, 2 for 30, or even 2 for 15 deals. So when picking them up that way, it can make sets really quite cheap, including some of the newer little ones as well. So just have a look through there. Far more interestingly though, over on Very. Now, if you saw my recent guide on all the sets that were released so far this year, or indeed my little follow-up video on my top picks, you will know that this one from the City lineup is one of the best, if not the best, out of the releases so far this year. With a good build that offers a lot of playability, alongside some decent little side builds and a good minifigure lineup, it certainly isn't bad at retail price, but currently £40 off. If you don't grab this, you might as well just stick the underpants on your head, shove the pencils up the nose, and say Wibble. What is your name? Wibble. <laughs> What is two plus two? Oh, wibble, wibble. <laughs> Where do you live? London. Hey, a small village on Mars, just outside the capital city. Wibble. <laughs> Alternatively, if you prefer smaller savings on older sets, then you could always go for the Police Training Academy. In all seriousness, uh, this is obviously retiring this year, and although it's definitely not as good a set as that last one, it's actually one of the more fun ones to play with, so perhaps one to grab and tuck away as a gift. Then they've also got savings on the Friends sets. Again, new for this year was Heart Lake City Shopping Mall, and although I am not a Friends fan particularly, this particular set looks really, really good, and so too does Ollie and Paisley's family house. It's quite a strong one. So again, if you've got kids who want this, or even for yourself, if you perhaps do away with the mini dolls and just perhaps want to pop this house or the mall in your city or change it around a bit, do some mocking, there are some good parts in there now. It's a decent looking couple of sets to be fair. Moving on though, and Sanctum Sanctorum has come around again on offer. Not quite as strong as we've seen in the past, seen it down closer to the 150, 155 mark, but that's still better than a smack in the face with a wet kipper. So I wouldn't turn it down. It is a nice set. I know some people don't particularly like it. It's just one of those ones. So it seems, personally, I've always thought it was quite good. So there we go. Then they've also got a nice little saving on the Mars Rover Perseverance. I do like this one. I think one of the more interesting Technic sets from the space lineup. Great amount that you can obviously learn uh, I was going to say, if you're giving it to a kid, but to be fair, if you're new to Technic, there's a lot you can learn from this as well. It's just a pretty cool build. So take a look at that one. I like it quite a bit. Uh, alternatively, if you want to stick more uh, with the recent space releases from the City lineup, our Space Base and Rocket Launch Pad is also on offer as well. And I think it needed it because although I do like the set, I think it was probably the best one out of the uh, City Space wave that we've just had. It's still a little bit hefty on that retail price tag. So getting it at uh, sub 100, even if just by a penny, that does make quite a bit of a difference. Alternatively, over on game, there are still a lot of the savings that we've gone over in the past couple of weeks, although some of them have now uh, been taken off. But this one, my favourite out of the recent wave of Technic sets, which is saying something because actually it's been a pretty strong lineup. Our heavy cargo spaceship, the pictures for which are pretty rubbish on here. Let's go over to Lego. Our heavy cargo spaceship is pretty dang impressive. Such a cool build. Offers a great amount of playability as well. The fact that you can maneuver those engines round to make it look like it's going up vertically before being swooshed along. And obviously that... Um, crank that you can move there as well. It's just really, really something. I like it a lot. Offers a great amount of playability, uh, as well as being an impressive display piece. And also, again, you just learn quite a lot when putting this together. I'm still pretty new to Technic, and I really am enjoying it at the moment because there's so much you know, more cool things that you can learn to do with this whilst it's still being a really impressive looking set. It's obviously quite sizable, so again, it's gonna be fairly impressive for display as well, even if you're not wanting to play. But normal retail price is 90 pounds. They've currently got it on 72 over at game, so that is a decent little saving there. And then again, if you did watch my uh, Lego buying guide, you'll know that I am not keen on this set at all. I find it a big disappointment. That said, 
it may well be for you. And this is a nicely discounted price off of the normal retail amount, which is £45. Just really not worth it, I don't think. So if it is for you, definitely a better price. Now, that wraps us up for the UK this week. The rest of the deals that we covered last week are all still in effect, apart from John Lewis. So if you do want more, go back and watch that one. Skipping on over the pond, though, to the United States. And let's take a quick look at Macy's. So uh, as I just mentioned in the UK section, it's been quite a strong lineup for Technic recently. Obviously that new Mercedes build is pretty impressive. But if you haven't picked up this one yet, it's currently $30 off of the McLaren Formula One. It's not my favorite, but that's not to say I don't like it. I still think it's pretty impressive. I just wouldn't pay full retail. So it's good to see that with a small discount. And then also, the Coruscant Guard gunship. Now, the UCS version of this was a big letdown for me, and I know for others as well. Whilst this is certainly not perfect, especially when it comes to the minifigure, I actually think that it's considerably better than the UCS attempt, and at a much better price, even at retail, to be fair. So this is one that, if you haven't got, I would suggest to take a bit of a look at, because to my mind, it's certainly worth paying this, as opposed to a hell of a lot more for that UCS version. Um, also, quick shout out for the Dark Trooper attack. Obviously, been out a while now. Uh, can't be compared to the whole Tanti boarding hallway. It's a little bit apples and oranges, but obviously similar concept line. And yeah, again, if for some reason you haven't got it yet, retail, mm, not really, but sub $30, I do think this is a nice one. So you might want to grab that. And then one that we've touched on in the past, but now discounted again, is Zane's Ice Dragon. And I just bring it up because... If you like dragons, this is definitely a cool one to have. It was one of the better price sets at retail. Still not fantastic, but definitely better. So getting it at a bit of a saving is certainly an improvement. On now to something new. And we've got the Lego Ideas family tree. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. I hate this set. I think it's really poor and it irritates me a lot that it got chosen as a Lego idea. I, it's just really not for me. Um, the other thing is that the price for this, I do not like at retail at all either. It's just made up of so many small, fiddly, annoying little pieces. But uh, if you are a Target member, you can obviously grab it for a decent saving at the moment. And being a new set, I shouldn't let my biases get in the way. I may not like it, but I'm sure there'll be plenty who do. So there is a nice saving on that one for you at the moment, if you're in that category. Uh, also, the Disney villains icon, they've reduced that even further. So now sub $100, which to be fair, it needs to be since we've seen the whole witch, or sorry, evil queen, uh, put back into Snow White's cottage, which is just a little bit annoying to say the least, but still a good set. So $90, not bad for that at all. Uh, and likewise, the Royal Clamshell, I've expressed my thoughts in the past about uh, some of the minifigures in this, but the clamshell itself is certainly an impressive display piece. And whilst I would not go near it at retail, I do think that, you know, just over $110, pretty fair price actually for this. It does have quite a lot of detail going on for it and it is fairly pretty. Uh, then over at Barnes & Noble, a few more sets have been added to their clearance line. Again, there's nothing big, you know, nothing hugely standout-ish that we haven't looked at in the past, but there are some nice ones just to have a little look through that. I mean, for example, this one, it's nothing particularly special. I actually quite liked it, but then I do collect the dinosaurs. I think the truck's a good build, but I would just never advise anyone to go near it at full retail. It's horrendously overpriced. This is a lot more reasonable. So, you know, there could well be quite a few sets in here, which you might have liked the look of, but have just quite sensibly passed over uh, in the past just because they're too high a price but 30% off clearance sale there are some good little ones to be found in there some of which will be retiring soon and then lastly for a big one the lego titanic currently on back order and this also keeps floating around as to whether or not it's going to be retiring this year or not i don't think it is i think it's going to last you know through till next year but don't hold me to it because it does you know keep being rumored that it's going to be sooner um the anniversary of the tragedy of Titanic sinking is this Sunday. Uh, so with that in mind, I felt that I had to cover it. StockX currently has it at a reasonable price. It's still higher than what I usually cover. But depending on where you live, shipping and fees, you're still looking to save around $50 on it, which isn't terrible. Just bear in mind, we will be getting a double uh, VIP Insiders points. The latest news that I covered in uh, the leaks video was supposedly June. That's currently what LEGO have in their T's and C's. May change. 
change, but obviously uh, that equates to about 10%, which works out then better. But all that said, you don't usually see a saving at all on this. So it's nice to get it on there. You can always put in a lower bid. I doubt it would get accepted on something like this. Um, but this is the average price it's currently selling for. Shipping and fees will be slightly higher or lower depending on where you are. So saving of anywhere really between sort of 50 to $70, which at the end of the day is not that bad for what is a really incredible set. Then if we head north, we will go to Canada and Toys R Us have uh, changed their savings a little bit. You've got Heart Lake City Shopping Mall, which I mentioned for the UK section earlier, on sale, as indeed the Heart Lake Hospital and also Ollie and Paisley's Family Houses. So again, although I'm not a Friends fan, I think that those three are actually pretty cracking builds as they stand, but also with just a little bit of customization can fit quite nicely into a city lineup. Speaking of city though, your space base and rocket launch pad also discounted further, just under sub $140 now. And then also on sale is the modular space station. I don't like this one at retail price. Okay, I think it's overpriced. Yes, it's fun to play with, but actually quite limited in that regard. So getting it for this sort of saving, definitely a lot better. I'd recommend that you do that don't get it while it's higher. Alternatively, if you're looking for a nice gift, obviously relating to the latest Wish Disney film, King Magnifico's Castle is currently on sale over at Indigo. They've actually got quite a few of the sort of Disney princess related things on sale at Indigo at the moment, but I think this is definitely one of the better ones. Not only is it obviously on trend at the moment with the film, it's a little bit more substantial than some of the others. It's got a bit of better detailing, so I do think it's probably better for play in that respect. Uh, then JR Toy has dropped their sale of the Dreams line, but again, Indigo has it now at the moment. So $96 for the Sandman's Tower. It's the best out of the Dreams line, I think. Obviously new this year and just a really good looking set. Couple of different build options to it. Really nice parts and interesting colours in there. Decent minifinger lineup as well. So if you've not bought Dreams before, maybe give this one a go. It's actually really, really nice looking. And then Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone, been on sale for quite a while now. Um, just bear in mind, this is coming closer and closer to retirement. Now it's out of stock online. That's why I mentioned this again, because previously, of course, it hasn't been. So stocks are getting lower. Perhaps see if you want to be picking it up in a store. It's not going to be available for that much longer. As for Europe, JB Spiel Warren has a saving across a range of the Lego vehicles at the moment. So the likes of our bright red Corvette here, also the Chevrolet Camaro has a decent little saving on it too. So does the Porsche 911. I've always quite liked this one. I know again, it's one of those ones that's been a bit of a mixed bag, but it's got something about it. I've just always really quite liked it as a build. However, the pick of the crop, of course, has to be the classic Land Rover Defender. That currently with 60 euros off, which is not bad considering that it also contains 2,336 stones. Sure, that'll do a lot of good for the engine. <laughs> but, but rockery aside, this is obviously a very impressive and cool build that I know quite a few have missed out on. So this is a nice saving to be grabbing. A little bit jealous, to be frank, over this one. If you haven't got it already, I would... Uh, pounce on this before it disappears. But as I say, they have got the saving, not just on vehicles, but that seems to be the focus at the moment. So if you have missed out on those in the past, good time to go and grab them. Then over into toys, we've still got the saving across a lot of the more recent sets, such as, uh, you know, Harry Potter, Hagrid Tut probably being my favorite out of the recent releases, Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, etc. So worth just having a little look through. I've detailed a lot of these over videos in the past weeks. Dune Ornithopter, for example, still on sale. But I thought this week, uh, rather than going back over old ground, I'd pick out some older ones, but newer ones to the discount. So smaller savings, but savings nonetheless for the likes of our Jazz Club. And it doesn't end there. They seem to have it across some of the different modulars at the moment, including the Natural History Museum, which I think is worth it at full retail, but obviously a small discount makes it all the better. Uh, and you've also got a similar story for the Icons Boutique Hotel. So those three really do look very good together. I think there's even a picture, or there should be, at the back of the Natural History Museum here with them all side by side. So obviously if you, uh, if you do line them up, slightly strange neighbours to be fair, but they do look good all the same. Then they've still got a saving on the Creator 3-in-1 Medieval Castle, which again, bear in mind, this is retiring later this year and you don't want to miss out on it. It is so cool. So go and pick this up at a saving. Grab multiple copies if you can and that way you can mock up some really impressive designs. But even if you just want one, do not miss out. It is definitely one to grab. 
So that brings us to the end of my top picks for this week. Do make sure to subscribe with notifications on. That way you'll get notified when the video first lands and you won't miss out on deals before they're taken down. Alternatively, if you'd like early access to this and even more special things, consider joining the channel as a member. With that said and done, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.